everybody, it's John, a.k.a. Smelly Telly, and I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana, and more music at moreguitars.com. Today we're going to talk about the Epiphone 1961 Les Paul SG. So, just very brief, brief history, in 1961, uh, Gibson kind of did away with the traditional Les Paul single cuts, and they decided to go into a design that looks like this. Uh, they did use the Les Paul name, and then later on, you know, Les Paul didn't, ca didn't care for the SG design, and so they eventually took his name off and called it the SG. But for all of us, we know it as an SG. You know, so many of our favorite players, you know, especially me growing up, being a huge ACDC fan, of course, always loved the SGs. Um, Allman Brothers, you know, Dwayne Allman uh, playing on an SG always was a cool sound, and then... Um, there's so many modern players too, so it's uh, time tested and still one of their most popular models that they sell, Gibson and Epiphone both. So this one is pretty cool. This one's pretty special. I wanted to go through some of the features on it. Uh, in some ways, it's pretty much uh, what you would expect as it, it's all mahogany body. It does have the laurel fingerboard, which is pretty much like rosewood. but. Uh, going into uh, some of the more finer details, what kind of stands out is that they've really kind of dressed it up pretty nice. So for me, when I sat down with it, the first thing that I noticed was that it actually does have binding, which is pretty awesome, and it looks great. Looks kind of aged, you know, the color, they're calling this kind of their classic aged white um, that comes in two colors. You've got white and you've got the cherry, and they're both... Uh, sort of somewhat, they're not aged aged, but um, to kind of simulate that maybe over time, you know, how colors kind of change. So um, it has Cluson style, it's their Epiphone tuners, but they're based off of Cluson, so good stuff there. Uh, you have the Burst Bucker pickups by Gibson, so these are not Epiphone pickups, these are actual Gibson Burst Buckers. I think they sound great. Uh, there is a fan base of people out there that love the burst buckers and I'm one of them. I think they sound awesome. The wiring, you have CTS wiring in here. So really it's a, um, yeah, it says Epiphone, but I mean, this is, this, it's a Gibson, you know. <laughs> it says Epiphone, but it's a Gibson, right? Um, and then we've been having a great time playing it. Uh, the one thing that we don't have, but we will probably in a shot some time in this video, is it comes with a fantastic case. And I think Larry's going to get the case right now. <laughs> Just improvise, John. Yeah, okay. So while he's getting out the deluxe case, and that is, I, that is actually, that's a fantastic case. That is, uh, was not expecting that. And it, so much so that Larry said, we need to definitely talk about it. So there's the case. There was Larry. There's the case. So... Uh, and here's Larry in the case. No, we can't fit Larry in there, not without some power tools. Anyway, uh, back to the guitar. So it's set up kind of like how you'd expect an SG, right? You got two volume controls and you have two tone controls for each pickup, three-way selector, nothing special going on there or nothing new going on there. So uh, in the demo, or in, sorry, in the beginning of the demo, you heard me playing some crunchy tones through this Mesa Boogie. <laughs> And I honestly, these are a great, these pickups are a great match for this guitar. Nice amount of bite, but not overbearing. And the neck pickup has that nice full tone to it. full. Pretty cool. Oh, middle position. Yeah, there's a middle position too. cool stuff. You can do the whole thing where you roll back the neck pickup. So, 
and that's typically how I use you know Les Paul and SG style guitars. Um, I kind of use the middle position and I use the neck pickup as almost kind of like not an EQ but uh, just kind of various levels of gain. <laughs> Pretty cool. I love it. So let's get some clean sounds real quick too, uh, because they can be played clean as well. There's the bridge pickup. Roll back the tone control a little bit. Some stuff, right? So we'll go to the middle position. So it's going to be a little bit more kind of clucky. And neck pickup. Pretty cool. So the neck pickup's really pretty nice. Very full. Quick, back to some blues licks. <laughs> Awesome. So we are totally impressed with this guitar. I say we, the collective we, everybody here at More Music. Uh, they've done a fantastic job. Um, oh, one last thing to point out too. So the headstock, you got the neat little crest there. It's just beautiful, this little bit right here, right? I think that looks awesome. So um, Larry pointed out that the juniors, which then in 61 would have been called Les Paul Juniors, but we know them as SG Juniors, they actually had Les Paul written on them. I've seen one. I remember being in high school and uh, being at band camp. This was like 1986, and the RA had one of those original SG Juniors laying on a counter, just laying there all beat up, and it had Les Paul written on there, and I was like, oh, man. I wonder if I can run faster than that guy, but I didn't test it out. Anyway, that is, it's beautiful. It looks really cool. And actually my first electric guitar I ever bought for myself with my own money was it, it was an Epiphone very kind of similar to this. So, which also takes me back many, many, many years. So, Awesome. This is a cool guitar with a cool case, you know. So if you have any questions about this or anything else that we carry, you can get a hold of us through moreguitars.com or you can call us. Talk to one of our sales associates, you know, or you can leave a comment in the comment section on, you know, the YouTube videos. And we'll try to get back with you. And uh, I appreciate you hanging out with us today. And we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video.